Hi friend. Uh, this is a beautiful with the uh, pedagogy uh, lesson eight. Uh, reasoning methods. Uh, in this lesson, we'll be talking about uh, deductive reasoning. Actually, there are three types of reasoning: uh, deductive, inductive, and abductive. In this lesson, we'll be talking about the uh, deductive reasoning method. What exactly these reasons uh, do in the science and the actual life? These are the scientific methods, okay? Scientific process uh, that gives us, you know, the a conclusion, okay? And it's a process, okay? And the step by step methods uh, to give. Uh, the logical conclusion or sometimes you know from uh, gen general concept to uh, a specific point or from a specific point to a general concept okay and sometimes you know it gives you know uh, unresolved uh, theories okay so today we're going to talk about the deductive reasoning what it is and how it works. So deductive reasoning is the process, a scientific process, in which we reach on the logical truth and conclusion. So how it works, it works from the hypothesis through examination process and gives the logical conclusion. So here is the general concept from any theory, a simple theory, a simple concept, which goes through the ex several examinations, and after examinations, it gives the a logical conclusion. How it works again, you know, uh, it changes the general concept into the specific observation. Any general theory into the specific and true conclusion and logical conclusion. So it goes from a, uh, what we call a general concept to a specific concept. Okay. Now what are the steps, you know, of the deductive reasons, okay? It has, you know, three steps, you know, the, which is called the premise. Our first premise means on which argument is based on, which is talking about or a, it's an argument on which conclusion is based here. So is the first premise and the second premise that is you know the based on the arguments discussion and these two uh, premises are led to the conclusion. So the conclusion follows the first premises and the second premises. I'll give you what are these, you know, the first premise and second premise, okay, uh, which is actually uh, the uh, argument, okay, on which we are discussing or hypothesis are based on or conclusion is based on. Let's go for the example. For example, the first uh, premise is the all numbers ending in zero or 5 are divisible by 5. Now, this premise on which conclusion is based on, that must be true, okay? And sometimes, you know, it's not true, but the uh, conclusion uh, then results untrue. The second uh, premise, the number 35 ends with 5, yes? So it must be divisible by 5. So you can see that premise 1, premise 2, and conclusion is based on premise 1 and premise 2. Yes, so 5, we're going to divide, you know, 35 by 5. That statement will be true for all. So the 
uh, deductive reason uh, must be true for all, not for sometimes you know if premise one is wrong, may give the result of the true statements and logical conclusion. We'll go for second statement. Example, it's dangerous to drive on icy street. Premise one. The streets are icy now. So it will be dangerous to drive on the street. So it will be true, a logical conclusion for everybody. Another example, red meat has iron in it and beef is red meat. Therefore, beef has iron in it. Guess so. This is a general concept, okay? All the red meats, okay, we're gonna see, they have iron. Another example, all men are mortal. Yes, Abdul is a man, therefore Abdul is a mortal. That's true. So, premise 1, premise 2 gives the conclusion of that. So, this is a general concept. All numbers ending with 0 and 5, okay, are divisible by, by 5. That's a very general concept, okay. And from general concept, it gives you the uh, specific, okay, conclusion. Similarly, in all examples, okay. But sometimes, you know, it gives you the invalid uh, reasoning, okay? Let's see. You can see, you know, Angelina and Julie. All actresses are beautiful, premises one. Okay, true. Angelina and Julie is beautiful, true. Therefore, Angelina and Julie is an actress. It's not true. Or it cannot be true for all. So all the beautiful cannot be actresses. So these are the inductive reasoning, okay? Invalid, sorry, um, uh, deductive reason with the invalid thoughts. Even they have a premise one correct, premise two correct, but the conclusion is not correct. It's untrue. So our friends, uh, this is a deductive reasoning. How scientific methods, you know, work and what steps you know gonna follow and how general theory goes into the specific uh, conclusion and logical conclusion this is the generalized concept into the specific observation how it works it has a three steps first premise one which the conclusion based on second premise uh, which is the argument based on which conclusion based on and when these two Premise combine and gives you the conclusion and logic too. I will share with you the example. I hope uh, that you enjoyed the lesson and we'll be meeting with the another uh, reasoning method, uh, inductive, or we'll be comparing versus inductive and deductive. Till that, I uh, see you. If you like this lesson, please don't forget to subscribe our teaching and uh, learning ch channel. If you have any, a suggestion please write suggestions in the comment thank you see you so much have a nice day we'll be meeting in the next lesson goodbye